The Pet Service Manager has been developed with industry operators using only relevant information and options, making it instantly recognisable to any pet service operator. So it is quick to learn and easy to use. The Pet Service Manager will enable you to keep your business organised, reduce costly mistakes, lost information and wasted time. Once you have typed information in, like a new phone number, it is instantly updated throughout the system. Create a professional business image as your professional service is supported with professional documentation and record keeping. Save hours of time each week on doing paperwork that you can use to improve your business or enjoy some time for yourself. Know the health of your business with up-to-date reports and graphs. Make tax time and BAS time quick and simple. Keep track of client accounts and easily answer client account queries. Keep your clients happy by remembering their preferences. Increase your income with promotions and sales of products and extra services. Get better value from your advertising by knowing its results. Take time off as another person can fill in for you if you are sick or take a holiday. Make your business more saleable by offering a detailed customer database allowing the new owner to step into your shoes. Have the peace of mind that your business information is properly backed up. Washing dogs is wet and messy, so as an alternative to taking my laptop, I work from a clipboard. I print out my receipts and schedule for the next day. I also print out a summary of my bookings for the next month, so if a new client calls, I can find an available time slot. I will now demonstrate how you can record a day's work in under five minutes, including recording all finances, rebooking our regulars, tomorrow's confirmations, invoices for this month, and reordering of stock. Mr. James Hill has two dogs and has paid in full. So I double click on the receive box to record full payment in cash. As I have auto rebook turned on, his appointments are automatically rebooked when payment is recorded. Mr. Peter Brown would like to change his appointment time to late Monday afternoon. So after paying the appointment, I open the rebook screen and use the time picker to move him to 4.15 p.m. Mrs. Helen Walsh is often not home, but always pays later, so I put both her payments on her account. Mr. Mark Law is an invoice customer, so I pay his appointment by adding it to his current invoice, taking his invoice amount to $247.50. Mr. James Brown paid in cash and also has his neighbour as a referral. So I double click on the receive box to record full payment in cash. I add Mrs. Sarah Johns and her Shih Tzu Lola. I create a new small clipping appointment for Lola. I look at the future appointments to see where I can slot her in. If it fits on the 29th of November at 1pm, I can do the neighbours together. The system shows this as a double booking to alert us, so I move the conflicting appointment to 1.30pm. Miss Eva Henrys will be away for her next appointment, so has paid in advance. I record the overpayment and the system credits her account and makes a note of this in the client's payments list. 
so her next appointment can be paid using her account credit. Mr Mark Green purchased a ball for Millie, so I add it to his appointment. And, as he is an invoice customer, I pay his appointment by adding it to his current invoice, taking his invoice amount to $462. Neither Mrs Wendy Harper or I had enough change. So I pay $100 in cash and debit the remaining $4.50 to her account, so I can collect at next appointment. After finishing today's appointments, I like to check tomorrow's. I will send confirmation messages for tomorrow's appointments to clients who have been no-shows in the past. These appointments show the confirmation fields in red, including the method to use. Emails can be sent per client or all done together within a date range. After the emails have been sent to your email application, the confirmation fields turn green. You can also manually phone or SMS them and then tick the confirm box. To process all outstanding invoices, I just email or print each invoice. When an invoice is finalised, the appointments on the invoice are added to any outstanding account balance to become the invoiced amount. Invoice payments are recorded in the client's payment section and are credited to their account. Finally, I reorder extra stock at the end of each month. The stock control features on the extras list allow a report to automatically show me what items are needed and the reorder quantity. When the invoice comes in, I record them in the expenses list. A full day's office work is done in under five minutes, including recording all finances, rebooking our regulars, tomorrow's confirmations, invoices for this month, and reordering of extras. As Christmas is coming up, I am going to email a Christmas greeting with my brief holiday period to all clients with an email address. I select all clients and deselect any without an email address. Then select my message. Some mail merge fields are available to personalize each message. Once I am happy with the client list and the message, I send them. This is an easy and free way to inform clients of your promotions as well as price changes and business operating hours. Staying in touch with your clients by email is also a great way to remind them of your business and it's free. Now I have done all the office work the business requires, I'm off to enjoy the free time I used to spend doing it manually. Call us to arrange a free trial and see how much free time you can get back.